quick revision video on the organic reaction pathways for aliphatic compounds. So I've got this flowchart from OCR and all I've done is I've hidden the reagents and conditions with those 29 boxes. So that's the order I'm going to go through them in. So if you want to pause the video you could try and do these yourself and then play on to check your answers. So number one, alkene to alkane is hydrogen with a nickel catalyst and you also need 150 degrees C temperature. Number two, alkene to haloalkane, you react it with a hydrogen halide. Number three, alkene to alcohol, you need to react the alkene with steam, so the temperature needs to be above 100 degrees C and you would use a phosphoric acid catalyst. Number four, alkane to haloalkane. You react the alkane with a halogen and it must be in the presence of UV light. Number five, haloalkane to alcohol. You react the haloalkane with aqueous sodium hydroxide and you'd normally warm that as well. Number six, haloalkane to nitrile. So you need a source of cyanide ions, so that's normally... KCN or NACN and it needs to be in ethanol. Number seven, haloalkane to amine. You react it with ammonia in the presence of ethanol. Number eight, alcohol to alkene. You react the alcohol with phosphoric acid or sulfuric acid and you need to heat it. Number nine, alcohol to haloalkane. You need to react the alcohol with a sodium halide and you need sulfuric acid. Number 10, secondary alcohol to ketone, acidified potassium dichromate, so the acid is sulfuric acid, and you would reflux that. Number 11, primary alcohol to aldehyde, it's the same oxidising agent, but to get the aldehyde you need to do it under distillation. And following down from that, aldehyde to carboxylic acid, number 12, same oxidising agent, and you would generally heat that under reflux. Number 13, primary alcohol to carboxylic acid. Same oxidising agent, but to get the carboxylic acid, you'd heat under reflux. Number 14, alcohol to ester. You can either use a carboxylic acid and you'd need to use a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst and you would heat that, or you can use an acid anhydride. Number 15, aldehyde to hydroxynitrile, sodium cyanide and aqueous acid. Number 16, aldehyde to primary alcohol. We're going to reduce this with sodium borohydride, NABH4. And number 17, another reduction reaction, ketone to secondary alcohol, same reducing agent, NABH4. Number 18, ketone to hydroxynitrile, sodium cyanide and aqueous acid. Number 19, carboxylic acid to ester, react it with an alcohol in the presence of a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst and you would heat that one. Number 20, carboxylic acid to acyl chloride, you react it with something called thionyl chloride, SOCl2. Number 21, ester to carboxylic acid, so that's a hydrolysis reaction, and to get the carboxylic acid you'd use dilute acid and you would heat it. Number 22, another hydrolysis reaction, but this time to get the carboxylate salt you would use aqueous hydroxide ions, and again you would need to heat it. 23, acyl chloride to carboxylic acid, react it with water. 24, acyl chloride to ester, react with an alcohol. 25, acyl chloride to primary amide, react with ammonia. And acyl chloride to secondary amide, number 26 at the bottom there, you'd react it with a primary amine. 27, hydroxynitrile to amine, is react with hydrogen and a nickel catalyst. Number 28, similar reaction as before, nitrile to amine, hydrogen nickel catalyst and finally hydroxynitrile or nitrile to carboxylic acid you would heat it with water and hydrochloric acid. 
quick revision video on the reaction pathways for benzene. So all I'm going to do is reveal what's behind those eight boxes. So that's the order I'm going to do them in with the reagents and conditions for those conversions. So if you want to pause the video and have a go yourself and then play on when you're ready. So number one, benzene to nitrobenzene. You react the benzene with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. And it needs to be carried out between 50 and 55 degrees C. Number two, benzene to bromobenzene. You would react it with bromine, but it needs to be in the presence of a catalyst. So you've got some choices here. ALBr3 or FeBr3 are the ones I'd go for. You can say um, the iron, but that needs to form the catalyst by reacting with the bromine first. Number three, very similar to before, but this time it's for chlorine, so any of those catalysts would do. Number four, benzene two. This is um, an acyl group that's being put onto the benzene ring, so acylation of benzene. So for this specific one, you'd react it with ethanoyl chloride in the presence of AlCl3 catalyst. So acylation, you react your benzene with the relevant acyl chloride with the catalyst. Number five is alkylation. So in this case, we're putting a methyl group on the benzene ring. So you'd react it with chloromethane, and again, it needs to be in the presence of an AlCl3 catalyst. So whatever the alkyl group is you want to put on the benzene ring, you would use the relevant um, chloroalkane that contains that alkyl group. So number six, what they're doing there is they're reducing the carbonyl group in the acyl group to an alcohol. So that's an, an aliphatic reaction, and it's the reaction with NaBH4. Number seven is the reduction of nitrobenzene to phenylamine. So the reducing agent is a mixture of tin and concentrated hydrochloric acid. And finally, phenylamine to that tri-substituted 246-tribromophenylamine, you react it with bromine. Quick revision video for the reaction pathways for phenol. So I'm going to do this just the same as the other two, the aliphatic one and the benzene one. So if you want to pause the video, uh, think about what's under those four boxes and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so number one, how do you get the nitro group onto the benzene ring of phenol at positions two and four? You react it with dilute nitric acid. Number two, how do you get those three bromines onto the benzene ring of phenol at positions 2, 4, 6? You react it with an excess of bromine. Number three, how do you make a phenyl ester such as this one? So this is phenyl ethanoate. Well, you've got a couple of choices. You could either use ethanoyl chloride or ethanoic anhydride. And finally, number four, how do you get this sodium phenoxide salt from phenol? Two options, you could either react it with sodium hydroxide or sodium the metal.